considered as a rare mental illness, Time Lords might not lose their past personas when they regenerate. As a result, these Time Lords acquired new physical bodies, but the past personas remained conscious and active in their minds, rather than simply retreating into the Time Lords' subconscious. These past incarnations thrived and accumulated inside the current incarnation's head, fighting over control of the physical body. One known Time Lord who had this illness was the Eleven. Audio. The Eleven. Immediately after regeneration, the previous incarnations would be mentally weaker and more disorientated, but they would eventually assert themselves and resume the Eleven's warped sense of mental balance. Audio. The Crucible of Souls. Other Time Lords were known to suffer from this illness, but they often committed suicide as they couldn't cope with the voices. The Time Lord who lasted the longest with this condition, other than the Eleven, died after shooting out both his hearts with a starsa in his eighth body. Audio. World of damnation, the very nature of this illness also had an unusual side effect of somehow affecting the regeneration energy produced by the Eleven, with the result that he was the only known time Lord the Ravenous could not feed off. Audio. The odds against.